much different to what I would a normal game, um, apart from the fact I'm, it's pretty exciting. Welcome back to Amy Stadium and Port Adelaide, they are bursting, they are desperate to get out onto the ground. 14 minutes away from the bounce of the ball. They've got a magnificent record here at Amy Stadium. They've won 11, they've lost 12, but their finals record, we know all about it. They've only won two out of nine. What a big day for Warren Treadray. Huge day. He's their prime key forward. He needs a big day for Port Adelaide to win. Brogan decisively down to Kane Corns. Well done by Steve Johnson. But a wicked chain to Sean Burgoyne, who delivers beautifully on the chest of Thurston. Pick it with the over. Burgoyne, spearing pass, great delivery for Treadray, who turned quickly onto the left to really put the pressure on the Cats defenders. Good shot from Wade on play fair, and that is a matchup I'm sure Paul will try and isolate. It's a great story. He's fought back after his career appeared to be savaged by injury. He's kicked 24 goals, 10 for the season, and now he's going in the final as well. Just had a look at that replay as well as we see the throw in. Brogan had it knocked away. The big man did the roaming. And he's put a throw for another one. Brogan and King go at it. Peter Burgoyne kicked forward by Schofield on the ground. Which is he's got to sit and wait. Couldn't take the mark. Chance out wide for Pickett. He snaps from 40. It's coming back. It's through. Byron Pickett kicks his second. And Playfair is still on Wade. So he's sticking with his young man. Second quarter from Amy Stadium. It's the Cats going forward. They trail by 18. Coloradus inside attacking 50. Oh, big Mark Lakeland. Bomber Thompson's made the move. Harley's gone to Wade. Wilson, kick around the body. And they'll come to meet it now. Oh, that was brilliantly done by Marnie. Somehow he got the handball up. The picket, a little fumble, but he's still got time to bring it back, and he has! Pickett's got three! So maybe this is a bit more positive for them. Good entry into the forward line, but the height and the power of Darrell Wakeland in game 200. Doing a superb job. Stephen Mooney. King off down here, boys. Cameron Mooney back on. He's had the blood cleaned up, whoever blood it was. And he's back. Now Bishop blasts it long. This is Harley and Lake. Can he do a better job? He gets some help. It was good help. But Josh Marnie was in the right place at the right time. And he's made use of it with a magnificent left footer. Kane Corns all of a sudden in space. Pick it from 30 metres. Can kick his four. And he does. Well, Byron Pickett, what an afternoon. Kicked the first goal. The two-minute mark of the first quarter, and it's been arguably the most dangerous sport on the ground. Well, let's just watch this. Just clever hands. And Byron Pickett, Pickett usually gets front and square and runs very hard, but there was a lot of finger-pointing by the Geelong players there. Out to half-back. Sanderson the fumble. It was a cruel bounce. Corns. Oh, somehow found Marnie. Good play. Cassisi just onto the stage. Let's see. Oh, he controlled it into the pocket beautifully. And Gavin Wanganeen looking to lay it off. He's off now. He's off. He's got a great left foot. He doesn't use it effectively. Across the face. This will test play fair. Has to stand up. He can lock it in. Now he's got to keep trying to get rid of it. He did eventually. Wilson breaks clear. Port have got the numbers. Open goal. Stuart Jew says thank you very much. And Sanderson's having a rest meantime. It's King's winning it out of the middle. Backing back Wilson into space. And once again, it's the Geelong defence that's called upon us. Oh! Great stuff out of the middle from Wilson and Marty. We talk about great footy stories. This is one of the best out there. Started at Collingwood. Foots grey. 
had been around the VFL scene, given a lifeline by Port Adelaide. And here he is in the finals, drilling an important goal after taking a memorable mark. They do finish pretty hard, Geelong. They'll need to. Bishop, Corns just dropped off Cooler Rose, but he did very well to force the kick short, but who was waiting in front? Stuart Jew. Oh, doesn't that set it up nicely? Just as he's having this kick. It's 87 possessions to 54, and that's very, very significant when you're looking at the, the balance of this. That's Geelong have been outstanding in, in their uh, grunt in this third quarter. Kick this, and you would think it would be on Geelong. From 55. It's a wonderful kick from Stuart Jew. Can they come again out of the middle? Brogan's been magnificent in the centre, and James ploughs his path, gives it to Carr. Depth on the kick is good. Discipline fierce. Now the loose ball needs to be won. Kicked off the ground, into the lap of Lane. Gets the handball off. The snap is quick, and it's accurate. And it's Stuart Jew's boot again that has done the damage. And kick Port Adelaide into the preliminary final. Got their run and zip back again. Lade's had a, a real day out. Brogan is the target. At the back, Treadray, a swing and a miss. Stuart Dew. He's still going. Treadray would love to swing one through from there. Oh, one for the road for Warren Treadray. And they're finishing fast now, Port Adelaide. Holding on to the advantage they established through the first quarter and a half. And again, superb ruck work out of the middle. Brogan and Lade have just dominated in the air at those stoppages. And it's created opportunities in the forward line for Port Adelaide. Small and dangerous forward such as Jew. And he goes again. Sanderson working hard. Kularitis. Treadray for his second. Off the left. Oh, what a terrific effort. Marty inside attacking. 50. Pickett comes to it. Collision. Pickett just went straight through Sanderson. <laughs> Then gives it up to Spriggs. Sanderson, Sanderson's up and about. And Sanderson initiated that contact, but still came off second best. Time for one more. Jared Schofield thinks so. He knows so. But uh, they've been absolutely smashed out of the middle. Geelong. Maybe his mobility around the ground may have helped them. Umpire letting it go here, and eventually it spills out to Corey Bartel. And a good mark taken in front by Haynes, but there it is, Port Adelaide have finally got the monkey off the bat. They win a qualifying final and now will host a home preliminary final in two weeks' time as they surge towards their first premiership. And a wonderful performance today from Port Adelaide, particularly in the first half and more particularly in the second quarter when they just dominated proceedings. look to have this uh, experience in the last couple of years to uh, actually win on a first final at home is, uh, is really good and it's fantastic for the club. You know, Daryl Wakeland's 200th game was an important uh, milestone for us and to play like we did on his big day was, was important. And, uh, you know, I thought the, the players did a great job. You know, everyone was involved. I didn't think anyone, uh, uh, you know, was out, out of it and they all played their part. You put on a wonderfully brave face uh, before the game. Were you feeling confident? Were you feeling relaxed? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling very confident. You know, the, the, uh, the, the way the players have taken over the show and uh, really making decisions and running it, running it, is, uh, it gives you a lot of confidence. And, uh, you know, the experiences we've had, even though they've been poor, they've been experiences that uh, we've learned from, and I think that's important. What does it mean to you? What does this win mean to you as coach? 
means we get to play our home preliminary final, really. And you know, have a week off. Exactly right. We'll, uh, we'll enjoy the week. You know, it's always great to have a freshen up and uh, be able to watch the others bash each other out, uh, uh, together and see if we can uh, you know, be a little bit fresher and a little bit uh, uh, ready for this next, uh, next team or whatever it is. Well, we can see that.